When it comes to tuning, having more data generally is a benefit. So we're going to take a look at a device that will give us more data while we're tuning to see if we are making any improvements. Stick around. Welcome back everybody to the garage and I want to thank all the new subscribers as always everybody that's out there liking videos dropping comments sharing the content you guys are the best thank you that being said today we're doing a video in cooperation with AD and performance down in Dallas uh, check out the links down below to lsaconversion.com c8parts.com and then there will be a link specifically to this device which we're reviewing today, which is the Draggy. I know you guys have probably heard about this thing. It's about $120 to $130 device. GPS enabled performance monitor. It's great. It will do quarter mile, half mile, zero to 60, all kinds of stuff. Cool little device. Very small. In fact, let me open it up here. And it has GPS in it and it syncs up to your smartphone. As simple as it gets, you put it on the dash, it comes with some adhesive metal plates, so you can put it on the dash, and then it will stick, ride, bring all that information back through a smartphone app, that's free, super easy to download. So what we're going to do is go out, do a pull, 0-60 to 60 pull on the Super Auto, and then we're going to make some changes to the tune to see if there is some benefit to it, and we're talking about a specific thing that a lot of people talk about out there, whether or not it's beneficial, and that's gonna be the uh, variable timing on the cam, variable valve stuff, on the pushrod motors. I have a tendency to say that the most benefit that people see off of the variable valve stuff is for emissions related stuff. If you look at the maps where it's doing a lot of the adjustments on the cam, uh, it, it's kind of in an area that looks like it's going to be more emissions related. So I have a very simplified table in there right now. We're going to go see what the 0 to 60 is on that table, revert it back to stock, and see if we pick up some horsepower. So it'll be interesting to see. Once again, though, as I said, I want to thank ADM Performance for sending us to try out. And I think it's going to be a great tune for testing anything, even uh, going in, doing timing adjustments, and seeing uh, whenever you stop getting performance benefit from timing adjustments without having to run it out to the point of seeing knock. That's one thing that I think is going to be the best uh, feature of this device. Now, a lot, of, a lot of you guys are going to want to know what your, your vehicle is running the quarter mile, things like that. But honestly, uh, I'm less concerned about that stuff and more concerned about optimizing the power of the vehicle, creating the most performance uh, throughout the range and for 125 bucks you can get this device and have a way of actually uh, realizing these things and because you know let's be honest the butt dyno feels like anytime you make a change it's either super positive or super negative whenever we make changes and it doesn't feel like anything shifted we might actually be picking up a tenth here or there and not realize it because it's not the most accurate. And then the same goes with an actual roller dyno or a hub dyno, things like that. You can tune on a dyno, achieve peak numbers, but that doesn't mean that you are going to have the best performance in things like the quarter mile. So being able to test realistic performance is kind of the best option out there. And there's a lot of guys that have done videos on these and found out that they're super accurate. Probably the most accurate performance device that you can buy and throw in your car today. And for the price, it is a fraction of the price of what everything else out there on the market costs. So it's a win-win situation. But as I said, if you want to pick one up, I'll put a link down in the description. You can go over to ADM Performance. And don't forget to grab the discount code down in the description for Goat Rope Garage members. That being said, let's jump into the Super Auto. Let's go get a baseline, and I'll pull up and start recording the screen on the phone so you can see kind of what we go through as the process of setting it up, and we'll go from there. Stick around. Okay, we're in the truck. I've got it on the dash mounted. I've got the software opening up, and I'm recording this screen right now. So just hit the connect button. There, it's connected already. It's grabbing the satellite, grabbing the data. So I'm gonna go ahead, 
get the camera mounted up. We're going to go out, find a safe stretch of road to do a zero to 60 pull. Let's go do it. As we let the truck warm up here, we can go ahead and take a look at some of the stuff that we've got going on here on the draggy itself. Pretty straightforward. Uh, we've got kind of this graph here that shows our zero to 60 time, our quarter mile time, and then our half mile time. Uh, then we have a reset button. We can come in here, show what we want to check out on here. We're going to, not, to go ahead and take off half mile and quarter mile. And we don't necessarily care about zero to 30 right now, or 60 to 130, or 60 to zero. So I want to check zero to 30, zero to 60, and maybe eighth mile. So if we go back to our main screen, we should get good data whenever we actually do a pull now. Sign up straightforward. You put in your email address, uh, and you just go. Then once you connect up, all you have to do is hit the connect button. It finds the nearest draggy, tells you whenever you're connected up, gives you your elevation, your DA, temperature. I mean, it's pretty awesome. Then on top of it, you can do the camera mode, which will do an overlay. I'm not gonna do that right now because I've got this thing mounted and recording uh, which what I'm seeing on the screen. So if you're at the track though, it's a cool way of doing an overlay, capturing the data and having it in the background there. So here's just the status of everything. We can kind of look at where uh, apparently what I'm guessing to have couple of satellites good satellite signal we've got decent Bluetooth and we got 50 or 68 percent battery on this draggy so uh, I thought I had this thing charged up better but seems like this thing is basically always kind of searching it doesn't have an on off button on it so I would make sure and have this thing plugged in before uh, I was going to the track to make sure that we were getting good data but let's pull out of the driveway here Okay, let's get this thing stopped. We're on a decent section of road here. We're going to reset and let's go. A little bit of a slow start there. I got a little bit of delay off the line but check out our numbers here we did a 10.09 eighth mile 7.190 to 60 that'll be the one to try and beat and a 0 to 30 and 3.1 so we have one run shows logs it for us that's the nice thing so we can go back look at a log of it Everything's good there. And it shows the performance report is being valid. Cool. Okay, so here's the one to beat. I want to snap a screenshot of it. And now I'm going to go in to the tune. Do as I said. Uh, change this thing back to the factory VVT and we'll see how big a difference it makes. Okay, looking at the performance report here, you'll notice that they actually have a 0 to 60 with a one foot run out. That's generally the uh, 0 to 60 that people use. So we're going to look at that. We're at a 6.73. Uh, it's a more accurate representation of 0 to 60 generally, but let's go out, see if we can pull another zero to 60 with the VVT return to the factory values and see, go back, see what kind of numbers we get. We're going to try to accomplish kind of the same rollout as we did last time here. Okay, interesting. Interesting, interesting. Let me get to a safe spot. Mile. And we will take a look at the numbers and do a comparison. 
Okay, so this was a back-to-back -back pull, probably about a total of five minutes in between one and the other. It's 39 degrees out here, so traction was a little bit of an issue on the first one. Didn't seem to have as much traction problems on the second pull, but let's look at the numbers we got here because it's not very uh, reassuring here if we come into the Draggy software and look at our two runs. Our first one, Which one was this? Okay, our first one registered a 7.190 to 60, and our second one with VVT back on registered a 7.8. So if we go into the one foot zero to 60, we had a 673 versus a 7.28. So, I mean, Hit up the comments, let me know what you think about this. Literally, uh, the faster of the two is on the simplified uh, VVT table where we have maybe four degrees max uh, cam retard on it across the board. None of the stuff that's in there, the stock one though, didn't look good. Uh, let's take a look at our, uh, let's see if we got eighth miles for both of them. So our first eighth mile was a 10.9 at 63, and then our second was a 10.32 at 65. That being said that we picked up two miles an hour, but we lost a lot off the bottom end. Uh, so, you know, we could probably reproduce these numbers time and time again and see variances, but honestly having a half second slower zero to 60 uh, really discourages me from from going back to the factory VVT now maybe it would wide you know open it up once we get past 60 miles an hour I don't know uh, I don't have a section of safe road around here that will allow me to really go out past the quarter mile and out to the zero to 100 range uh, so we're going to go with what we've got here and if we dive in a little bit deeper, look at the performance. Uh, you know, we've got a pretty steady acceleration graph on here of half a G on the fast run, on the slow run. It looks exactly the same. We're achieving half a G, so we're getting the same acceleration as far as that goes. We're just not getting as much power. So let's do a wrap up on the draggy. So, what's your thoughts on the whole process? We did two back-to-back -back pulls with the Draggy, changing one parameter in HP tuners, in this case variable valve timing, and saw that we lost six tenths on the zero to 60. And I mean, I tried my hardest to make sure the launch was exactly the same. I didn't load up the converter. You know, we did a stop, dead stop start, zero to 60 run out. Uh, the proof is in the pudding. I mean, it, this is a great device. I want to thank ADM Performance again for sending me one of these. I verified, at least in my platform, that the previous VVT tuning that I had done on there was more effective than the factory tuning. Now, some of you will probably have some comments to say about this because I know everybody, not everybody, but a lot of people out there think that the VVT is there for power. And I have been kind of the guy saying, well, you can make additional power off of VVT, but in this situation, much like AFM, it's actually there for emissions. If you look at the area in which VVT has the most action, it is in the area where you're cruising down the highway. They're doing it to generate better emissions. It's part of that whole process. Uh, prove me wrong. Go out, hit the link down below, buy a, buy a Draggy, do your own testing, and show me where you can get better zero to 60s or better quarter mile times by adjusting VVT for 125, 130 bucks. This thing's great. It really is. I don't harp on things too often, but this is probably going to uh, be now my most suggested tool that you get besides tuning software. Normally it's something like the VX Diag. Now I think if you have the ability to verify that you're making better power, it's only gonna make you a better tuner. So that's kind of my wrap up on the Draggy. I look forward to incorporating it in future videos a lot more where we can do real testing to see whether or not we are providing benefits what the benefits are. So stick around for a lot of that. And as I said, I got to thank Andy again down at ADM Performance for hooking me up with one of these things. Uh, please, please support the people that support the garage. They make content like this possible. 
use the links down in the description. Hit up with comments. I know people are going to have comments about this video. I want to know what your feedback is, what your thought process is. And I know some of you already have draggies out there. Uh, Jorge's vlog is a great guy that's been running him and doing videos on him and showing how accurate it is versus the actual quarter mile times he's getting at the track. So go check his channel out if you want to see this doing a comparison to actual time slip numbers because, man, it's like a hundredth of a second off, if that. I mean, it's very, very accurate, so it's a good way of gauging performance. So, that being said, I want to thank you as always for all the subscriptions, all the likes, all the comments, all the participation. Check out the live show Thursday, 8 Eastern. ABT, always be tuning, and thanks for stopping by the garage.